What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Jason Rohn. I hope everybody's having a good day today. I want to talk about pit bulls and black people. <laughs> so first, we'll start with pit bulls. Uh, I was speaking with a pit bull owner earlier, and we were talking about how pit bulls have a bad reputation in general, at least in the U.S. and the Caribbean, right? People view pit bulls as unstable. They're out to harm you. Even dog lovers in general are a little bit more nervous and apprehensive around pit bulls than they are around other breeds of dogs, even dogs that are the same size as pit bulls or bigger. And this is mainly because of the media. You hear about dog fights. You hear about people getting attacked. You hear about kids getting killed, mauled uh, by pit bulls. But if you really think about it, most of these things... And the way these dogs, any dogs, including pit bulls, act is based on their environment when they're coming up, their diet, the amount of exercise they get, how they're treated, right? This affects how these animals act when they're fully grown or when they're at a point when they're big enough to hurt somebody, right? Now, taking it to black people. I feel like there's a correlation between how black people, are, especially black men, are treated in this country in the Caribbean and how pit bulls are treated because we're viewed and treated very similarly. People view it like we're always out to hurt you. They're more scared of us than they are of somebody the same size of a different ethnicity. They view you as unstable and crazy, right? They're more likely to put you down if you do something wrong, right? So, and maybe that's why black people and black men in general have an affinity for pit bulls. The way we act is also based on our environment, how we're raised, how we're treated, our diet, the amount of exercise we get. So I'm not saying black people are like pit bulls, but what are your thoughts?